What's up guys, here is Claudio from Visual Modo WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to add a share section and share buttons on your WordPress page or posts for free using some amazing WordPress plugin and other easy to use methods. So in the last video we see how to implement the related post section on your WordPress blog and I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and a card over here for this guide and today we're gonna see how to create buttons to share your content in the social accounts all the social accounts like here in the visualmodo.com blog in the end of the posts some buttons to share the content so let's move to the local host and a simple blog page without any kind of edition so we can start doing this first of all go to our wordpress dashboard plugins and click on add new for this guide we're gonna be using the session social share plugin so just type here in the keyword social share WordPress social sharing plugin, Sashi social share. Click on install now. You can click on the plugin name so you can expand and read its details. The plugin is installed. Now let's just click on activate. All done. Let's see the result that we have by default. We see a floating bar with some social sharing buttons, which is very good for blogs in some specific cases and the share buttons in the top of the content before the post content. We need to change it and edit these buttons. So on your WordPress dashboard, we're gonna see a new tab called Sashi Social Share. Click on it. And now you can see the theme selector, the standard selector and the floating interface and a lot of options to edit the buttons and the options of the plugin. Let's start with the shape with a rectangle. Save change. Now, let's start removing these floating buttons because for this blog style we just want the buttons in the end of the content no floating needed so go to floating interface tab enable floating share interface unmark this option and save change all done now in the standard interface we're gonna change the title to share this and Save change. Now we're gonna move to the social networks and remove the Google Plus button of the sharing interface and also change the position of the social sharing buttons to the bottom of the content and also remove the social sharing buttons placement from the pages we just want this on posts by now all done so every single one of your site visitors already can share your content across their social networks and accounts
Now let's move to some more additions like the color of the buttons. By default, the buttons will follow the color of the social network, but we can change it. So all the buttons can follow a unique color, so it can match for your design style or side colors style. Let's set a dark one here. Now, as you can see, the social sharing buttons are too close of the next and previous post button. And for these cases, the plugin has a miscellaneous section, so you can apply some custom CSS code. So let me find the, the CSS class, so we can apply some padding, hovering the mouse over the buttons and click on inspect element. And here in this div, we can find the class and copy that to apply a padding. The padding is too big. Let's change it to 10. Just do not forget the dot before the class name while using CSS. And all done. You will find a lot of options and design style and possibilities to style up your buttons and also apply your buttons in other pages like projects, portfolios, attachment, categories, projects, pages, projects, categories. So you can add the social sharing buttons for your portfolio, for example, and other posts like this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question, and I see you later. All the best!